Step one, parts needed. A, F, H, N, T, and a screwdriver. First, connect the front center mast, T, to the front canvas shelf, N, using the four and a half inch bolt and barrel nut, F. Tighten using the Allen wrench, A. Next, secure the ratchet system, H, to the bottom of the canvas shelf, N. Step two, parts needed. Screwdriver, I, K, O, B. Attach the top easel support bar, O, to the center mass support bar, K, using the three quarter inch wood screws, B. Next, secure the brass plate, I to the center mass support bar, K. Step three, parts needed. Screwdriver, C, R, Q, E. Connect the back center mass, Q, to the center leg support, R, using the 3 8 wood screws, C. Next, connect the small support arms to the three inch long slot in the center leg support, R, using the three inch bolt and wing nut, E. Step four, parts needed. A, G, O, P, S, K, Q, T. Begin by placing the center mass Q between the top and bottom supports O and P. Then join O and P to the right and left support legs S using the three inch bolts and barrel nuts G. Lay the easel flat on its backside and slide the front center mass T into the center mass support K from the bottom up. Ensure that the brass plate is still in place before sliding the mast up. Step five, parts needed. A, D, L, N, Q, P. Turn the easel upside down, then slide the springs onto the two inch bolts, D. These go into the U support bar, L. Attach the U support bar, L, to the back of the front canvas shelf, N. Note that the back center mast, Q, will pass through the U support bar, L. Please note, due to the use of springs, use pressure to secure two inch bolts to the barrel nuts using the Allen wrench, A. Step six, parts needed, I, J, M, T, K. Add a brass plate, I, to the back of the top canvas support, J. Then, slide the top canvas support, J, onto the front center mass, T, from the top down, keeping the brass plate, I, secure. Next, secure the black turn knob, M. Finally, secure the center mass support, K, with the black turn knob, M.